the June 2024 Nintendo Direct in under four minutes. Mario & Luigi finally gets a new installment in the series that isn't an inferior remake of an original. God damn, I was jumping up and down out of my seat when this game came on the screen. Nintendo World Championships NES Edition looks like the third installment in the NES Remix games. Remember when those games came out? Those were fun. This game even comes with an in-game Super Mario Bros. speedrun tutorial. Fairy Tale gets a new action RPG that I'd probably be more excited about if I saw a single episode of this show. Fantasia Neo Dimension looks like a classic Final Fantasy game in the modern day. Even the visuals look primitive. Nintendo Switch Sports is adding basketball to its roster of sports, which just deepens my want for a new Mario Hoops 3 on 3 game. Neo Memories in Orbit is yet another Ori clone with an artsy fartsy art style. Disney Illusion Island gets an update, adding a detective mystery element to its Rayman Legends S gameplay. We once again see some gameplay for Hello Kitty Island Adventure, which is just Animal Crossing with Sanrio characters. Butters would be excited. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports looks like the Mario sports mix of Looney Tunes games. Painfully mediocre and the closest thing to a Space Jam game. Among Us is adding new roles called Noisemaker, Tracker, and Phantom to the crew to create different types of ways the imposters can fuck with the crew. Formagia is Pokemon meets Dynasty Warriors meets Harvest Moon, and it just looks like Pal World without the guns. Donkey Kong Country Returns is getting a Switch port, which just makes me wish we got a new DKC game even more. We need the triumphant return of King K. Rule. They are making HD 2D remakes of the first three Dragon Quest games, so so obviously it makes the most sense to start with three. Funko Fusion has Funko Pops trying to make their own Lego game, but watching these Funko dudes move around just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I know we know Luigi's Mansion 2 HD was a thing that was happening, but man, am I just glad this game isn't trapped on the 3DS anymore. The Nundemba Men looks like a Metopia ripoff that looks more at home being a WarioWare micro game. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded is a tactical RPG of Metal Slug, which just sounds like they're adding unnecessary steps to Metal Slug. I'm sure Darkest Dungeon 2 is gonna be fine, but I'm just sick of every other game being a dark fantasy game. They added four more games to the Nintendo Switch Online service. They added Metroid Zero Mission, Link to the Past Four Swords, Turok, and Perfect Dark. Phantom Brave The Lost Hero is yet another generic anime RPG that, just like Dark Fantasy, I'm so sick of seeing call me jaded. I did not expect us to get a Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection, but that is taking a ride straight into my Switch day fucking one. Super Mario Party Jamboree looks like yet another Mario Party game with a bunch of gimmicks. Let's hope that they're good this time. Also, bring back story mode, you cowards. Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom looks like one of the most unique Zelda games ever made. If I had a nickel for every game where you play a Zelda centered around a wand, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but I'd rather play this than Wand of Gamelon. Remember, there are three constants in the universe. Death, taxes, and a new Just Dance game coming out every year. We already saw LEGO Horizons Adventures in the PlayStation State of Play a few weeks ago, and I'm still not excited about it. Stray is getting a release on the Switch, which would be cool and all, but the visuals look really bogged down in this version. You ever wanted to create the most boring concept for a Lord of the Rings game? Look no further than your upteenth farming sim game. I nearly fell out of my chair when I saw this announcement, because the West is finally getting an official release of Ace Attorney Investigations 2 13 years after its initial release. God, the Danganronpa developers really just can't make anything that doesn't look or feel like Danganronpa, huh? I'm sure if I knew what Romancing Saga was, I'd be excited about this remake, but, uh, I don't. I can't believe it. I really didn't think this day would ever come. For the first time in seven years, we finally have gameplay and a release window for Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. No longer are we blue-balled with just seeing the number four. You're welcome for saving you 40 minutes of your life because I just told you...